presented by Dr. Abu Gutierrez Lopez yes, from the yes. National Polytechnic Institute. Please remember to mute your microphone. It's called interfering. Um, if you can mute your microphone. Okay. Um, Pablo Gutierrez Lopez did his PhD and master's degree on, in food engineering at the University of Reading in the UK and obtained his BS in biochemical engineering by the National Polytechnic Institute in Mexico. He gained his doctoral experience by working during two years in the United Kingdom. Dr. Gutierrez Lopez acted as production supervisor in the Mexican confectionery industry and worked as a project engineer and consultant for food industries. Currently, he's a professor of food engineering and chairman of the PhD program in food science and technology at the National Polytechnic Institute. He published over 85 referee papers in the field of food engineering, edited six books, and had been awarded a number of distinctions, such as the National Prize in Food Science and Technology, Lazaro Cárdenas 2016 Award and Medal to the academic researcher of the National Polytechnic Institute and acted as a fellow of the Society of Chemical Industry in the UK. Dr. Luis Lopez was president of the organized, organized committees of CVN number five, ISOPOW 11, and currently president of the American Association of Food Science. He, his main research areas are macro micro, micro, and nanostructures in foods and nonlinear analysis in food engineering. With, with, for, with no further delay, uh, please welcome Raul um, Gutierrez. Well, much, Veronica. Thanks to you all for joining this webinar. Um, I went to the National Society of Engineering for inviting to the webinar, and uh, we shall be talking today on formation by interactions of micro structures with water and evaluation of micro structures. But the call of the talk uh, will be uh, the flow in the flat. I am we're talking about the nano world, nano versus no nano approaches. Shall be talking materials, characteristics of structures, and I shall be exemplifying our work uh, by presenting you some of the works by our group: nanoscale, microscale, and microscale. So when I will be talking about the nanoscale, I shall be coaching the topic of preservation of the state of water control. Well, to remind uh, the students that uh, I have joined the webinar, uh, this is a typical size scale that uh, we see in most websites. Uh, on the red line, for instance, of men that have policies to mix tall or even of nanometers. As compared to a nanometer that is uh, about in with quantum colors and nanoshells are fine. Uh, we see, for instance, that uh, a typical trend has got a risk of uh, approximately two meters and the uh, blood cell, a uh, not cell, contains about 5 million of red blood cells in there. Um, about the approaches, micro scale, nano micro scale, we also are getting different kinds of information. Good information that we get at the nano scale, at the micro scale, and the micro scale are important to us. And of course, that we can combine the approaches and see the scale and then 
in the sustain of a product to be able to make a good interpretation and of course go to work. How we obtain the materials? This can be done by the microfabrication method. This is a top down, uh, breaking down material down to the nanometer scale or assembling atoms, molecules up to the nanoscale, and this is a self organization approach. Of course, we are nanostructure materials with a million of compounds in different compartments and states of aggregation. We can morph crystalline beaches and rubbery states that induce multiple functions which may be of the nanoscale. So perhaps the nanoscale only the function of the food. On the other hand, engineering nanomaterials are all that intentionally produced materials have one more dimension of the order of 100 nanometers of length that because of discrete functional parts, uh, which are one or more dimensions of the order of 100 nanometers of length, include structures, agglomerates of aggregates. Size above the order of 100 nanometers, but same properties that are characteristic of the nanoscale. That is, that at least one of scales that are with material included has at least 100 nanometers. And then the properties that are characteristic of the nanoscale are those related. To the very, very large specific surface area of the material. The specific chemical properties that different from the of the nano of the non-nano form of the material. And the option of nano pores or cracks in a macro material can be the functionality to the material. By the nano emotions, the dispersions, the nanosystems occupy the, the largest part of the research development products that we find in the nanotechnology world. These applications are for microbiology, like nanosensor detection of certain pathogens, bacteria, etc. Influencing, uh, for instance, in the fabrication of cells or red nanomolecules, nanocapsules, for flavor tasting, and for patterns, clays and nanofilms, a boundary material to prevail in oxygen absorption. Also, dietary supplements, sample nano encapsulation of nutrients. Pharmaceuticals uh, for a target delivery are found in the wide application of nanotechnology. We uh, put here a multi scale approach to stability uh, with diagram that was part of the work of uh, Gabriel. We see that. Uh, if we go from the ultra structure up to microstructure, we can get different kinds of information. Filtration by passing addition of uh, the sugar, moisture, aroma, flavor, characteristics, size, shape, etc. And we have a good quality control of the food. Um, how do we assess this? Assess this by means of techniques like that I am showing here spectroscopy, acoustic thermic impedance, mechanical tests, uh, all sorts of microscopies, 
Finances, etc. The contact immediate sources are is by far very, very important. And in this area, the image analysis aids all of these techniques to get information about the structure at the uh, that we are doing the research. Fractal through fractal analysis is a very common computer vision system uh, in which we can image of part of the product at a certain unification. And then uh, by algorithm, we take this peak and uh, by of the uh, case map, we can get a three dimensional impression uh, of the two dimensional picture that we took. What is a fractal? A fractal is either a natural object, this is also called self of fractal, uh, with self similarity at different levels of magnification and this cauliflower uh, is here similar to this is here so this is here and to the one uh, transverse cut but we have mathematical fractals so a Mandelberg set, set which out similarity at very very many Less of uh, organization. You can see that to that part here, and this goes down to the infinite, so that this covers the uh, array of uh, states of observation that go from minus infinite to plus infinite. The emphasis is completely carried out by means of inters intersecting uh, both of different sizes. Right. to the of picture that right. you can see. This is the original picture. This is the binarized picture and the impression of a great on to the picture. And we take boxes different sizes and construct the one we have here, a plot of logarithms of the boxes versus the logarithm of the box size. The slope of this line gives them the dimension of the object that was in our original picture. Um, more than one and Slow, very slow one we saw there. But with different slopes. So this is a typical behavior of a multi fractal set. Multi can be considered as a superposition of homogeneous model structures. Therefore, there is a unique value. Dimension, but the spectrum of a distribution of subunity dimensions is complemented by the erosion of the lacunarity, which is either a parameter that depends on the set heterogeneity, talks about the gaps that a certain object may have, like those show in what here. here. go further to um, analyze and to describe few words from our group. In the first instance of the nanoscale and preservation through state of water control. And uh, I'm going to watch the flores my former student. Uh, I'm in a nanoscale by spraying 
on a cryogenic pisanol and was eight degrees She sprayed the uh, solution low by calcium carbonate and yielded around three percent of total solids. And on the hand, what we must to spray dry that. So here we will do a free uh, reticulation, whereas here we were only uh, possible to cross our material. The model, of course, has a typical social isotherm in the first layers of water interact with the energy with the material and the cooling layers interact with less energy at the use of water activity uh, by filling the pores that uh, we have in the micro of the material. And with from behaviors we can have for a non porous material, this is related to the solution of water. So these uh, circles here are the water molecules, the plates. We can have a nanoporous, or we can have a series of porous, complex, more complex uh, absorption. If you look at this, some sort of absorption, we are having. Of course, the first layers behave a like near type of isotherm, and the strong interaction, uh, interaction of water with the material uh, are of the best type. If we model, what model that has an, that we can call A, which corresponds to an a new type, and B to a type, and then we the of some plot that we mentioned already. We have the image texture for the channel at minus eight, a slope of this is out the fractal dimension there and the fractal dimension for the spray dry material. But the fractal dimension of the at minus eight degrees is higher than the, higher than the fractal dimension of the dry material in about a more irregular surface or this is compared to that material, which can see also in the piece that we took with the electron microscope. These different magnifications of the same material uh, that we present here, 50 micrometers, 100 nanometers, and 100 nanometers. We can see that the tail of this structure here is much more complex than here. This is our at minus 80 degrees, and this is spread. So, what we can expect from this? We can expect that if we have the theory of the compensation in the second law of thermodynamics, that should be control of the absorption. Is the reactivity is greater than the entropy control of the atom? The control by the tropic uh, and second law of thermodynamics. I'm not about more stable and stable system, given that the high. The level of the high structures are interacting as compared 
with a software that we have here. With the what we have solved on the radio to write samples compared to that on the panel uh, minus equation. And this is the ethanol, and this is the spread. And you will make a term and the B term of the Darcy Watt mode, which is both linking of our curves, spraying right, seasoning, and give us more that Moisture content and I monolith content of 6.52. So, we can expect of this cross of this for a ethanol at minus 80 degrees. But what is that the shifting of had values of moisture content and of course, I will be uh, the key. Uh, moisture content. You see here, taking up to three, and on a, on a layer rises to 7.83. What do you it means? It means that more active sites were in the material. As compared to that material, with the structure. So here is the canola mindset. This is a spray dry one, and the design increase when we fabricate our canola mindset degrees with more active sites of torsion. of the materials, just for scoping uh, compressions. And you can see that the spray dry at 65.4 more relative uh, humidity the environment collapses and the material where the ethanol at my request it flow if there it's uh, Let's move on to another. This uh, character that seen trapped in some light cells have nanopores which can trap methanol, and we see that the entropic. Uh, of our lot of the second lot of dynamics also, also prevails over the Atlantic one. And we see nanostructure, so the nanoclay here with the, the better is rougher than the one that's not the better character. We have more detail the surface of this place by means of uh, the tone for microscopy. Uh, you can see that we have more detail than in here. We have here details in the range of nanometers, whereas here in the range of the chromatographs. This world in which uh, we made a modification of the nanoscopic scale of solid protein isolates uh, to prove physicochemical properties that we see in the following steps. Nanosolid soil protein were made by freezing drying control in then applying vacuum. So here that one material that has a rougher surface as compared with the non structured material, the smoother surface. 
something with the of the patient the holding the Temperature and of the 
that we will see that the perimeter increases of the kind of cells to the area at the different moisture contents. Since uh, the analysis and give us to analyze the encounter of the more number of cells was one hundred for the the work of Jimena uh, Quintanilla, she did an extraction of alpha capsules that she spray dry and were containing alpha tocopherol. Uh, right. All of us and all the interior of material. So, Focal lunch and microscope of the part before and after the talk of her own extraction. This was very interesting because we see that a good part of alpha talk of her own was thrown at the opposite part. Then the color parameter A, of course, with non encapsulated alpha tocopherol was lower than the capsules with non-encapsulated alpha tocopherol and the pressure that we have uh, by means of scanning electron microscope of both capsules uh, before and after the structure see here uh, more uh, Rubin and Ruben the study on the stability of ascorbic acid after encapsulation in calcium algae matrices by the conservation uh, by dipping sodium algae in solutions into two solutions. This is a paper. Atomizing the A sodium acid solutions into CACL2 solutions that was the SKA method following by the And we know that this material has to show more active sites and then the precision of the ascorbic acid was not more pronounced there 30 days after 30 or 60 days. And also more and the minimum of the uh, this is a second law of thermodynamics with soil shifted from to 38 months to content for the rock structure. Uh, we have been doing work on MC detection. The cannot work here. We want to classify the agglomerate of an emulsion photocopherol of high pressure and with these surfactants. And she would see the agglomerate could be Define clusters so that the fires give different fires when we have a lateral with a fractal dimension. So we can group by the type of surfactant. What we can do here was uh, a very, very common compound used in uh, food and uh, other applications, which is titanium dioxide, and and she took electron map, which was the original. And the 
being alive in my chest. All different types of titanium nitride. And at the end, we classify and different the types, the different types by different um, parameters that uh, those are. In a macro scale, so I will, uh, which we saw in banking, bottles of in the door. And what is the, the formation of a bottle at a certain time of banking, which was reported on our publication. And the bubble brought a peak in the fire. We have a graph of fractal dimension against baking time. Peak here corresponds to the formation of a big here we see at this time our bubble starts to develop and then causes into bulk of there till the end of the baking. So this method of analyzing surfaces helps to characterize the process and the type of cells obtaining the Talking about a bit uh, the contact angle, uh, we know that uh, where contact angles are equal to 90 degrees, uh, are based on wettable materials. And uh, wettable materials are greater than 90 degrees contact angles. So, what uh, Sophia did here was to What one drop of water in tomato malto dixie and glomerate there, and could see that the structure of the mix is a progress that we took at those. Relative time there, and you see the time of the starts out there, you know, rise, rises, 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 and the decay this has been found also in of things on paper. Uh, of the ability of a material, in this case, by water. And in this, here we can see the penetration of water at different times. So I see that we have the of the water that Having been either absorbed in the mac in the matrix or evaporated, and we did model model the surface, and with time we have the recording. So that's here. And this is here, right, and shook it again. Um, what uh, we think is that uh, air trap in the match push up, up and then own weight of the push down the trap until it is all top. Collection agglomerates similar to those there was 
the great front Identification of the breaking profile, crop of the breaking profile. There, this is an application of that. that and should see the additional probabilities or multifactality arose. of addition of probability that has a multifractal behavior. On the here, here's a type mark, and here is much less mark, and here also less mark as compared to there and to there. The rating of my rate has got not only fractal but a fractal behavior. What happened with the breaking of tortilla gates and if we need to monster count uh, we have a fractal the single fractal dimension had a sheet moisture content or critical moisture content we have one dimension, another trade of the dimension, and in terms the lacunar, remember the lacunar PR the empty spaces in the structure. And here the mass of the profiles that are teaching the part behaving uh, of the uh, the in Paya This was made by Gabriela Kais. And here you can see the original samples, which is this. To see the papaya uh, font and I mean of the system nationalities, we find the fractal dimension and we can differentiate the pieces uh, of the same things by the fractal dimension of profile there, there, and there. To appreciate here. This is the micro what was seen in the micro uh, in blue, the extreme and extreme um, dash, and the scale in red is higher than, of course, in the blue uh, is there. As a final remarks, I want to say that, of course, research and development strategies for the and production of novel materials to uh, put information on the structure of the product at various levels. So you could see by the example here, not only the preservation of water control, Rice and uh, the uh, more uh, con corresponding to the mono layer, and also uh, a number of other properties of the materials in the sense that you know, fractal and the micro analysis. We are saying full and micro analysis structure may allow their standing uh, and maybe a way that can contribute. To understand the complex phenomena involved in water mobility. And very important, can we control of water, which is the activity, 
important to reach the great approach to have future sustainable food and materials or materials in general. Materials in general. The is to thank my colleagues, my students, and there are my colleagues, my students, all the work that presented here. Uh, of course, they have work, and what we do is to come to talk on work. But, uh, the ones who actually do the work. Um, thanks, Commission, of course, and to all for having joined the webinar. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Gustavo Gutierrez, for sharing your knowledge. Sorry. Thank you, Dr. Gustavo Gutierrez, for sharing your knowledge. Let us open the question. Uh, an answer portion of the webinar. Remember, if you have a question, turn on your microphone and directly to Dr. Gutierrez. Or if you um, feel comfortable, just type it on the chat and I read it to him. Mr. Ranjan, uh, I don't know whether you're able to hear me. Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Good. Good afternoon from uh, good evening from sunny Reading. It's been really sunny, and uh, the weather is fantastic. And we are going to have four more hours of sunshine tonight. It's a very long day. Oh, that's, that's so great. sunset is about ten o'clock. <laughs> so in daytime. Absolutely. Uh, great talk. Uh, just have one question. Yes. You are now able to sort of probe at very, very small length scales. And the scale of scrutiny of your sample is really small. The question I have is, I mean, I'm not challenging the numbers and other things that you have. Done. How, I mean, even that we are, these are all very heterogeneous materials. Can you generalize a sample which say micron by micron, or even smaller than that, to the whole. So what, what I'm trying to say is, you, I mean, is there any study where people have taken sort of different samples and got the same numbers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, please, uh, I, I don't. Are, are you hearing me now? Yes, yeah, hear you. I can hear you. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, this is. Uh, a very good point, Iranian. We have all thought about it. And what I've done is to do as many measurements as possible, but of course, uh, it will never be enough uh, because of the size of the sample I said. Hmm. It gives us a very good idea of the label that the material is going to have at the state. So what I recommend is to do the same sort of test at the nanoscale, the nanoscale, and the master, and then compare and uh, interpret. This is what I can say. Has this been done? Sorry? Has it been done, if I'm asking? Sorry? No, I'm asking you whether this has been done and published. Or is this yet to be done? No, yet to be done. This is done, and uh, this is one of the uh, issues that we have uh, on our agenda. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and, and believe me, this all comes uh, into, into this when we are uh, talking about this sort of work. And we have sometimes very rough time when we have to reply to the reviewers. <laughs> <laughs> now that you have read uh, uh, the matter of reviewers, all I uh, I have to thank you and your group for submitting and papers in the Journal of Food Engineering. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Oh, so really so keep keep supporting us. <laughs> oh, we will make sure. <laughs> no, no further questions. Thank you, Rajan. Yeah. <laughs> Have a question? Well, thank you, um, Dr. Yes. How do you work? With, um, or instead of where, when you call um, distortion on material that you were showing before, like how the nanostructure and porosity uh, has uh, an effect on the absorption of the water surface, have you done any work or do you know about any work done with oils? Oh, uh the work that, uh, I present by Laura Colson, that the Baliana did that and showed that the rough of the structure of the soil protein isolate was able to hold or the non, non structure uh, sample. Did these experiments add only one temperature or did you fluctuate the temperature? I'm asking you this because I was working previously with a uh, model frying, and this part of the rough surface, um, it's how we were trying to understand a little bit better. We, we try to uh, take pictures on real time while we are heating materials and having a very very difficult task. We have managed to do it for some materials, but still we have to uh, work on the technique because it's not easy to capture uh, an image while you are heating. Uh, what uh, we have done is to heat the material and to from the heater to take the to take the picture and then back to the heat. Okay. Well, thank you to you. Does anyone anyone else has a question? Okay. Hello, Nassim from Istanbul. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for your presentation. I have a question about, um, I work on the simulation of drying, but with physical modeling. Uh, is it possible to do it with uh, image analysis? With what material you are working? Uh, for drying apple. Yes, yes. And, um, Nonlinear regression for sim a mathematical simulation of drawing, uh, but is it possible to do it with image analysis or no? It's possible to do the characterization of the drawing front uh, while you are drying, but with removing samples from the dryer and immediately to the microscope. Uh, this can be, for instance, uh, send an electron microscope. Then, for example, to withdraw it from the dryer and to put in the microscope and so forth. Uh, it's a way that you have two kinetics. The kinetics for moisture, moisture decrease, the kinetics, and the kinetics for microstructure fusion or involution. Yes, uh, during the drawing, 
all of the uh, structure can be changed, and I want to see this change uh, about capillary or uh, any poor uh, uh, structure. Is it possible to take uh, one minute uh, interval uh, picture for from the um, from my sample? Uh, it is reality or it is not yet. Even if it is difficult, you will need a lot of samples. But um, all the things on the on the thickness and on the geometry of your sample. But uh, I recommend is to have a number of samples uh, uh, for dryer and to go one by one the kinetics. And then and then perhaps if you want to see capillary versus, for instance, diffusive control. A microtome and put a structure of the pores of your sample and to infer the structure of the sample what is the mechanism that might control the movement of the water, either capillarity, diffusion, dispersion, etc. Yes, possible. Okay, so much. Thanks to Turkey, beautiful Turkey. <laughs> Another question? Hello? Yes? Hello, I'm Eva from Kuliakan. How are you? Oh, hello from Kuliakan. <laughs> okay, no, um, I have a question about the work of uh, yeah, the, <laughs> the thing that the structural description about the tissue of uh, Chile could be uh, multifractal? I think so. I think that it could be multifractal. Um, the structure. Okay. I think it will be more multifractal if it's done on uh, uh, the uh, process of deepening of the tissue. I think that if you do it through, it will be multifractal. This is only my my feelings. Okay. Uh, how can someone? Identified a, a multifractal image. How about that? How, how can uh, how a person can detect that? Doing the multifractal analysis by obtaining the uh, characteristic uh, fractal dimension and then to to to, do, to, to build the picture. Uh, uh, but I, I, I want to. Congratulate about your Sarah. I I will be late, but I'm here. So congratulations about that and, and greetings from Kuliakan for you. Thank you, Shiva. Thank you. Which uh, all the way to Kuliakan. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone has a question? Well, if no one in, if no one else has a question, uh, thank you, Dr. Gustavo, again for this interesting talk, um, and I and thank you all for participating in this webinar. I want to remind you that we are going to take a short break. We are not going to have a webinar on during July, and we but we will come back in August with uh, Dr. Jose Reyes de Corcuera from the University of Georgia. Uh, we will be talking about enzymes. For more information about his talk, please, uh, keep keep it on our website. We are going to update that information soon. Uh, and if you want to um, read this, we are going to have it on the website as well. This this webinar, sorry, um, within it we are going to have it on the webinar. Uh, 
So just just check the page and um, wait information about our webinars. Thank you very much to everyone. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you. Now, to leave the webinar, you just need to close uh, your page, and, and that's it.